Hey! Happy Thanksgiving! Kind of thing. Um, I got a plan here. Guy was posting on uh, the Facebook groups and, and Chief Talk and a problem with a roof set up here. And here's what it is. Um, I know that he wants a gable, gable roof over the top of an existing hip here. And we're having a lot of trouble doing it because he's, he's new. He's new to the software and he's learning. Um, and he's trying to do it with auto build roofs. But I just want to say right off the bat, as soon as you run into a problem that takes you beyond a, a simple, you know, 20 minute roof build, then just ditch auto build and learn manual. And manual is extremely fast and easy. As, as soon as you get a complicated auto build roof, it's as fast to just do it with manual, I would say. Um, and so let me just to make, I have a lot of problems um, working when there's a lot of graphic fidelity. So I need to clean this up right off the bat. And I wanna say just right outright, i um, been doing this a long time and I never need to show studs. So turn your studs off, you don't need to see them. Framers don't need to see them. They know how to frame a wall. So I'd say get rid of that. I like to get rid of the grids. Um, and if they're using snap grid, yep, get rid of that grid. Can't deal with a lot of graphics when I'm working. So in my working set, I turn off a lot of this stuff. But we're not doing interior design here. We're doing construction documents. So turn off your casings and exterior. That's going to make it a lot easier to see here. Um, turn off your sill profiles if you've got them. Casings interior. And then um, I just see furniture right now. So of that as well. And in fact, I don't even think I need to slab. I don't think that even matters that as well. And it looked like we had a couple of slabs drawn in. Let's go back. Yeah. Through. All right, you're drawing a manual slab for your garage. It's just not needed. I see that. Go back. Let me delete this slab for the garage. Um, what I can do is I can grab this one and then select similar, try to grab other one there all other ones oh weird all right and slabs off and then i know why we were doing this invisible wall set up here that was to create um this hip roof but we don't need these visible walls in fact that's just caused some problems so here we go we're at ground zero and we know that we need a roof over the center of this door so I'm gonna copy and drag this out. And I'm um, when we're editing, manually editing a roof plane, we don't wanna edit the fascia side. We only wanna edit the ridge side. And also when we're working roof, with roofs, we can make the polyline cross itself and it will auto cut that excess out. So that's a couple of great little tips. And then I'm gonna reflect this about itself because I'm paying attention to how the baseline sits according to this wall right here. I want to make sure that this fascia is going to make it past that wall. I don't want it to show. We're going to see the underside of this. So that's about right, I think. Um, and then let me center this up on the door like so. And I kind of already know that I'm going to need, well, let's just take a look at what this looks like in 3D. We know that we need to break and bring this hip back. We're going to cut this back. So that the gable, we're gonna see the underside of this roof plane, and we don't wanna see the underside of this roof plane except for this last um, overhang, whatever this overhang is gonna be. What is this overhang on this side? Let's see. Okay, so drag this out and 18. But we only need to see that right there, all right? And we're gonna end up, just draw out a CAD line. I'm gonna reflect about this door. We're gonna end up lining this guy up right here. Perfect. That CAD line. So from here, let's just take a look at what we got in 3D because I think we're going to raise this up. It's going to go up uh, another foot or so. Yeah, this is going to go up a foot. We can go ahead and use transform replicate for that. Move it 12 inches in the Z delta. And from here, and we got some funniness going on. What's going on here? It looks like, and this is true of, of many beginners, is that we've manually edited some wall heights. 
I really encourage you to not do that. So I'm going to open this up. And also, we got a lot of rooms set to walls set to no room definition. And that's probably a mistake. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'm also going to, there we go, default wall top height. Because this was even a selectable option, it does mean that you manually edited some uh, wall heights. Stay away from that. Don't do that. There's no need for that. Only time you need to do that is in the foundation wall, in a step footing. Otherwise, uh, you're causing a lot of problems. By so next up, I'm going to make a little break in this right here, and we're going to extend this all the way through so that we're picking up at 90 degree snap, which I didn't quite do. This makes it so that we're seeing the underside of this carry all the way through. And, you know, we're going to end up breaking a part of this, but I'm not sure I'm, I'm too worried about that at this moment. I think that this little section where it carries over that other roof section is going to be problematic, and we're going to have to fix this or maybe break this into two different roof planes. Let's see what we got. So um, you notice here this wall built out. That's because it was probably manually edited of these and now that i've got this roof in place what we can do here is we can throw in a break on our hip so and select this edge and what we're going to do is our going roof plane now this automatically edited this roof plane, which I didn't want it to do. So let's go back a step, show you a quick little trick for this. Go back a step. I'm gonna just copy this roof. I don't want it to get edited. Copying it, now it's in my clipboard. Now I can select this edge, join roof planes, get it to join here, and get back to this roof, lead it if I want to, and paste it back in place. That's from the clipboard. Now the reason this is carrying through, we want to see this condition right here, right? So that's correct. The only problem is we've got some discrepancies here and here it looks like. Now let's copy paste this guy about itself. Hovering on the ridge line. See what happens here. So we've got a little section of roof that's carrying through. That's because this was cut back a little bit far. This was maybe not brought forward enough. Okay. And end up joining section right here. Copy this. Take that piece right there. Up. One break in here. That's select. There. See what we've got on the underside. This is looking a lot like what was. So we got a little bit of cleanup here to do. For the most part, what was wanted from the OP. I don't know what this condition is all about. It's kind of a funny condition, but what was requested so very curious about this first you're gonna have to cut some roof you know out and around this i don't know what this ends up looking like this transition here so you'd have to know more from from the this person whether or not they want to account for that condition or not what's happening that's a design query in question so some things to think about and Get back into this view. I want to make a copy of this and paste hold. And I'm going to drag this piece all the way through. What that's going to do is leave me with just this triangle. And then I can select my other roof plane that I copied from. And same thing, I'm going to drag this through. Cut that up. 
But what that did was now I've got two roof planes there. Notice it just cleaned up that little problem area, right? There's actually two roof planes here. Here. Okay. Last bit I would probably say is that we're going to cut a section of the bring it in. Make sure that it's kind of correct spot. So. Section right here. And this section. Here, that edge. Edge. There we go. Did a little bit of cleanup on that underside. Now we can bring this guy forward. Problem that created. So that little jog was just enough to cause a problem. Jog on this piece. So again, it might be a consideration where we're taking this roof and splitting it up a little bit. So copy, hold. Got two roof planes in the same zone. Two, I'm going to take this, cross itself, I'm going to leave this corner. Left me a corner right there. Take this guy. Same thing. I can take this, cross itself. I've got there. Notice it filled in here, fixed the soffit issue, fixed our overhang issue, cleaned up everything. You gotta break these up to get exactly the transitions. How nice this is, right? So perfect. Tips and tricks. Hope you learned some stuff from this. This is the kind of stuff I put on my VIP service in Discord, but you know what? I really wanted to help this person out because they were struggling and just killing hours. So hopefully that helped you out. I want to check one more thing. This is kind of a beginner thing to check. Um, first floor, floor defaults. I want to see what these look like. Okay, and then I want to go and sample a couple of rooms to see if I just grab a couple of these rooms. Are they following the floor defaults? Because that's a common thing people are doing and they're editing their individual room. So you can see right down the line, we're not following floor below, we're not following ceiling below not following the floor structure or the floor finish, not even following the ceiling structure. All this should be following your floor defaults. So set up your floor defaults and default settings under floors and rooms. This looked like it was a 14 inch, a 14 inch eye joist. I don't know what the room below was, but I think it was like, something like that, no. And then the ceiling structure, five and a half, sure. Now, select all your interior rooms, but follow for defaults. I'll be just default, default, stem all, default. Default, yes, including floor structure. Um, and you got some other problems here because this is giving me no change, even clicking on it. This is something else that's being picked. So got some more things to solve for. So keep that in mind. Oh, it might be just because I had the. All right. Default default. Default. That was not. Now we're conforming everything to a default. Then you only sit, change that setting in one location, right? So that makes it uniform. See if that messed up anything. Uh, you got some funny little footings here. They're on an invisible wall layer. That's really funny. That's probably because you set this wall, this wall to be a foundation wall. It did. Very funny thing. So I don't know what you're trying to achieve with that, but I could probably tell you some fixes on that. So uh, got your decks. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I think this is closer to what you were looking for. So, great. I hope you learned something. That's as much as I can give. Happy Thanksgiving. 
enjoy.